Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So a quick explanation. When I filmed this video, my voice was still gone. If you watched my last video, you would know that I lost my voice. So I decided to still film the week in my life. And as you can hear, my voice is finally back. Unfortunately for some, I know. <laughs> so I will do a voiceover while she obviously watched some very interesting content. As you've already seen the title of this video, you know what I will be talking about. I've been seeing a few comments that have cropped up on my YouTube channel and I thought it was time for me to just give an explanation into how I live my life and why I choose to live my life this way. And hopefully it will all make sense and you understand who I am as a person. And of course, as always, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to please leave a thumbs up because it helps my channel grow and it gets a lot more people to see my channel, watch my videos, and we can all become a huge family. So thank you. So one thing that a lot of people have said is how simple my life is. I have a few comments talking about how chill and yes, I've also had comments about how boring my life seems, which in all honesty, I take as a compliment because my goal has always been to be able to live in my own space and in a very simple, stress-free and in some people's opinion, quote unquote, boring life. If you've watched my vlogs, you will see that I do interact with people daily and I am lucky to have some awesome people around me every day almost and I get to be around really cool people and I'm becoming more sociable than I ever thought I would be. In the past, I have been so closed off that I would shy away from people, but now I am consciously putting myself out there and saying yes to try new things and actually making an effort to meet new people, which honestly, if you had told me years ago, I would be this sociable. Honestly, I would have laughed at you and called you a little bit crazy. <laughs> Better get about my way. This is the start of a new day. Hard force, right? Tune the rest <laughs> on the program. <laughs> Singing out. This be the new thing. 
New swing set I'ma go for the loot, man I'm a fruit gun loopy That's the Sammy the toucan Screaming out, who cares? My soul bare I'm done with the cold stare My heart hang off the tip of my shoestrings They untied, that's usual I'm not put together Do better than you do That's magic, I'm voodoo You a doll playing dresser But your getup is poo-poo Okay, I'll fess up, I messed up But that's true for you too We stare at our messages Hoping for contact Like somebody Please take us out of this nonsense The world end after every broadcast And to save it seem a tall task With no cape and no cash And a broke car with no brakes And no stakes involved in the state of the world state It's all lost, so we counting our birthdays We party hard, get turned on a Thursday And like we got it all Why we act in the first place You raised by a screen that get up in your nerve ends You do need tune, babies, better know that you In the past, I've lived with flatmates for years and only just started to live on my own this year. As an introvert, words can't describe how much I craved my own space. Nothing beats being able to live on your own, in your own space with no distractions and being able to do whatever you want when you want. I have lived with six people before, yes, six, and you can just imagine how that must have been like. Believe it or not, my goal has always been to be able to live a simple life and it's taken me years to achieve this. I have a set routine every day that I follow and it's basically wake up, train, film content, edit content, eat, chill and sleep. <laughs> I have managed to turn my hobby into a career and words can't describe how grateful I am every single day. Nailed it. Now, one of the comments that I get every once in a while is when you're getting married, when you're having kids, before it's too late. What I find funny is people ask this, like my life won't be fulfilled without marriage and kids. And as much as I appreciate the sentiment, I don't intend to do both of those things for a while. However, I do intend on getting a dog. So maybe that counts for both of them. <laughs> uh, all jokes aside, I am far too busy enjoying my freedom and being able to travel and do whatever I want when I want. It's finally time for me to be selfish and live for myself. I know, I know this makes me sound like a terrible human, but honestly, I am very happy and currently I don't need marriage or kids to fulfill my life and that's what my plans are for anyway. Okay, just kidding. But maybe someday that would happen, but honestly, I'm not really bothered and I'm just enjoying life at the moment and having fun. Also, as much as I do share my life on social media, I like to keep some parts of my life private because I don't believe in sharing absolutely everything, says the guy that vlogs himself in the shower and shares it on YouTube. <laughs> Thank you.
So yes, my life is very simple and to some boring, but honestly, at this moment in time and at this point in my life, I wouldn't want it any other way. And it might not be what works for everyone. And I'm not saying you should live the way I do either, but remember this, I would always appreciate anyone that watches my videos and engages with my channel because you have made it possible for this guy who's been broke at some point in my life and had no direction to finally have an avenue to share my passion and bring you along the ride and also keeping me accountable and making sure I never give up. <laughs> so if you haven't fallen asleep by now or skipped most of this video thank you so much for making it to the end and listening to my words ah oh, there i go again oversharing on social media One of my favourite Disney facts is um, a not a very well known one because oh, yeah. did you know that in the Disney World parks um, you will find a rubbish bin every 30 steps and do you know how I know that? Oh. Because Walt Disney himself followed people around the park until they let go of their rubbish as if to say like, oh, I can't really hold this anymore. And it was 30 steps. So anywhere wow. in the park, there will be a bin at least 30 steps away. That's because brilliant. apparently, after 30 steps, we go, oh, I don't want to hold this anymore. <laughs> so that's why there's always a bin. 30 steps. How cool is that? I have a Disney fact. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's what go. There's Disney facts. So, you know Mickey Disney. Mouse? Well, hold yeah. on. Can, yeah. can you ask Disney to sponsor this video, please, while she's... Disney? <laughs> <laughs> the sponsors, Mickey Mouse. If you want to get in touch, yeah. we're here. And it's about Mickey Mouse. Wow. It's yeah. actually that he was a creative. The whole, the whole Disney thing was created because Walt Disney found a little mouse in this bin. Really? And he, yeah, and he fell in love with it and he called him Mickey. And then that's how... He, that was the start of Walt Disney. Yeah. Did you know? Did you know also oh, okay. that Mickey's oh, Mickey Mouse was um, meant to be his original name was going to be Mortimer. Oh, Mortimer Mouse. Okay. Mortimer Mouse. So the reason but why apparently we're... his wife said no, don't like that. Good. So the reason why we're doing Disney facts is because someone over here is obsessed. <laughs> with Disney. Disney. <laughs> Express how much you love it with with passion. 